Hi, I'm Dave Milam from Accents of Distinction and we're going to show you how to install a flush mounted stone vent. Start by laying out your tiles and finding out exactly where the location of the opening of the vent is. Mark your tiles accordingly. Ensure that everything is square and true and your grout lines are lined up. So you continue to mark all the tiles. You can even number them as you go. So I'm actually marking the actual opening size of the vent. This one happens to be four by 10. And the cutout will be a half an inch larger than the four by 10 all the way around. You will end up with an opening of five by 11 which will allow a lip for our 4x10 vent to sit flush to the floor. So once you've laid out the uh, opening of the vent, you locate the center of it by drawing a line from corner to corner. And you can always put masking tape down if uh, the tiles become intrusive or in the way joints but this appears to be lining up good then you take our diffuser plate and you lay it over top of the opening and make sure you're square and centered then you can mark your tile all the way around That will be where we cut the tiles. So everything should be approximately a half an inch larger all the way around. Once you've cut your tiles, you proceed to install them. So then we're going to verify the opening is correct by placing in the diffuser plate just to ensure everything is positioned correctly. Diffuser plate should go in and out without any obstruction, and you can temporarily insert the vent just to ensure that everything is square. The joint looks good. Once the tiles have dried, you lift out the vent. and you adjust the height of the vent with the diffuser plate by placing screws on the hard surface of the vent, here, 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 and here, in the wood. By adjusting the height of these screws, you can adjust the height of the diffuser plate, which will allow a perfect flush mount of the stone vent. Once you have your height, you take a number eight wood screw, ensure the diffuser plate is face up. There is a countersink for a number eight screw. If you flip it over, there is no countersink. You gotta make sure the countersink is up. And you can proceed to screw it down. And or cement it, or PL, premium, 
something, uh, an adhesive that will help hold the plate down if there is not sufficient wood to screw to. Once your diffuser plate is completely screwed down and bonded down, you can open up the diffuser flaps for full airflow, or you can bend the back for decreased airflow, and you can place your vent in. Grout around the vent, preferably with a removable caulking, so you can remove the vent to clean out the vent at any given time. And that is an installation of a stone vent made by Accents of Distinction.